Greetings, YouTube. Happy Friday once again. You know, I thought to myself, probably foolishly, after the Cavalier title came out, and you had the opportunity, be it a very rare one, to spend 200 units to get a six-star champion, that one of two things had to happen with these $29.99 uncollected gamble bundles. Either they had to increase boosts and guaranteed five-star shards, or they had to lower the price point of them. Unfortunately, as is referenced today, neither is true. And so for $30, if you are uncollected and above, you get 30 units worth of energy refills, one 30% champion boost, which keep in mind, this is partly what I don't understand about these bundles. If you get these special, like say the Nick Fury, the, the new bundle for the same price point, that gets you the opportunity to have early access to the new featured champion, which is tempting and kind of cool, to be honest. You get three greater champion boosts. And then, of course, the most exciting part is if you land that champion, you have the ability to put videos out over other people because unlike, say, when the regular Grandmaster Featured Crystal comes out, you can't spend your way to get the champion. You're limiting one of these bundles, and so you only have five shots. Just like anyone else, you are on a level playing field. So to give one boost instead of three and then only have 1,500 five-star hero crystal shards, barely 15% of what it takes to open a five-star basic crystal, you really have to justify not only amazing champions in this, but also a better drop rate. And again, neither is happening. I would argue that this, along with the $39.99 uh, gamble, which is usually the 20% shot at a five-star champion in the legendary crystal, are by far the two worst values we see time and time again for your money in Marvel Contest of Champions. Keep in mind that this is $10 more than that uh, 1,800 to 2,000 unit reduction in Mastery Core bundles that we saw in the past week come out in the unit store. So let's break this thing down because there are a ton of trash champions in this. And they will say that um, four-star Cyclops, Rhino, and Ronin, and five-star Joe Fixit and Magneto are not included. Not that people are salivating to get a five-star Joe Fixit other than maybe to have in their collection just to say they have it. But, uh, you know, Abomination as a five-star, especially Awakened, is fine for defense. I don't know anyone that ranks him up past rank two, though. Uh, Carnage obviously is much better after the buff, but I would still prefer Venom any day. Cyclops is somehow blackmailing Kabam into making them promote him because he's a trash champion. Doc Ock is a very solid champion, but I feel like in the tech class has actually lowered in value after champs like Ghost have come out. Dormammu, solid for both attack and Defense, Electro, fine. Ghost, amazing. Green Goblin, fine. King Groot, terrible for attack. Great for defense. Hella, fine. Hood, underrated. Red Hulk, great. Iron Patriot, trash. Joe Fixit, we discussed. Juggernaut, especially Unawakened, trash. Mordo, trash. Killmonger, very, very good. Kingpin, fatty. Eh. Loki, I'm a huge fan of. Underrated. Uh, Magneto, trash. Magneto, Marvel Now, trash. Mephisto, Solid, Modoc, solid, Morningstar, really good, Omega Red, amazing, Punisher 2099, eh, Red Skull, ugh, Rhino, ugh, Ronin, great in certain quests for utility, but usually a three-star Ronin can do the job, Sentinel, very solid, Taskmaster, solid, Ultron, very solid, Venom, amazing, Venom Pull, meh, Venom the Duck, amazing, Void, amazing, Vulture, eh, and Yellow Jacket, pretty okay. So, needless to say, most of the champs, this is like a mini screenshot of how many people feel about the new five-star featured crystal set to hit the contest next week. There are just so many old champions in this and champions that people already have that this really, I don't even know who this is targeted at. Yes, you have a chance for Omega Red. And yes, you have a chance for, um, say, you, you've had your heart set on Venom, who I still don't have as a five-star. But most of these champions are terrible. Even if you pull them, as five stars. And in this stage of the game, because you can, once you get to become Cavalier, 
have on average the 11% drop rate to get about one out of every 10 Cavalier crystals to get yourself your hands on a five star. Uh, you can't value this at anything. If you're Cavalier above like 10 bucks, it just, it simply is a worse investment than just getting some Cavalier crystals and having a much better shot at a wider pool of champions that don't suck. Uh, but in general, this was already like a D plus before the Cavalier title. Now these things are pretty much guaranteed Fs every single time I review them because once you become Cavalier, they're just not good at all. But even if you're not Cavalier and you're just uncollected and you're seeing this because you're uncollected, if you just hoard thousands of units, I don't care if you just have to revive a hundred times and you become Cavalier, the progress you will make on a daily basis from having the Cavalier title is much greater for you than it will be to have a chance to throw 30 bucks at a terrible deal like this. So it's back. It's like a bad taste in my mouth. I just want it to go away. And every once in a while, it just resurfaces. It is a terrible, terrible value for your $30. And of course, if you're in countries like Canada or Australia or India, the price is actually going to be much higher with the currency rates. So don't get this. Also, even worse and potentially is the $10 bundle. I don't usually spend a lot of time to review it. Just know it's not worth your money either. So there you have it, YouTube. Don't get this. Shake your head at it. The price point needs to go down to 10 bucks, or it needs to have a whole lot more guaranteed five-star shards and 30% boosts.